fellas. Let's get them pumped. Like and subscribe. Real Murder TV. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get into Pasto KTS Lakeside. Y'all know who it is, Bitch and Pasto. Oh, bad MMG shit. No, no, world. How did that get? That is. What's up, her? I ain't never heard of you, T Star Rappers, I ain't never heard of you, T Star Rappers, MMG shit. Okay, Pasto, you know what I'm saying, one of the guys who was wow, you know what I'm saying, coming up, you know what I'm saying, he was getting in trouble a lot, always getting locked up, uh, and he was putting in a lot of work for KTS, man, and um, he had, you know, getting, um, um, he allegedly two times, man, put it like that, and um, that's probably the reason, the, the sad situation that happened to him, you know what I'm saying, Rumors had that he was followed and got killed, and some say he was killed in like a um a hallway. You know what I'm saying? On the time of death or whatever. But he it's, it was said that he was trying to change his life, gang in the street shit. But by the time he did all that, it was too late. You know what I'm saying? He was getting locked up a lot. That was trying to kind of make him change his life too. And then probably some of the stuff that he did in his past made him want to change his life. But sometimes when you you've done too much in the street, they don't forget. And they don't care. And they'll still try to get at you. You know what I'm saying? And um, he ended up getting killed, losing his life to the streets. And he was he was real close to KTF, Vaughn and Dre and all them guys, man. He was one of them members out there. But rest in peace to KTS Pasto, who tried to change his life to the streets, but it was a little bit too late. Chill! <laughs>